all black jersey. The man to watch early on will be Robin Brook. If he's on fire, the Wallabies have to look out. Mertens goes deep to Gregan. The Wallabies go wide, running the ball from inside their quarter. Come back, come back. Now Gregan. Desperately needs support here, plenty of time. And that's a soaring punt kick to within nine metres of the halfway line by Matthew Burke. Exactly on halfway, Anton Oliver. Josh Cronfeld and Kefu, and cleverly taken by Ian Jones. Now the All Blacks get low. Wallaby player goes to ground, Randall is there. Robin Brook, good hit there by Cobain. Marshall. Here's Mertens. McLeod slipped it away. New Zealand now with Little. Burke comes in. Great tackle. Larkham. Stephen Larkham. He's still going. Wilson. But they've gone into touch. Did you see Burke line up his New Zealand opponent to force the turnover? New Zealand get their line-out ball through Jones. Beautiful pass from Marshall. Here he goes, Cullen. Joe Roth couldn't get him. Vindiri's inside. Gregan's here. What's the bounce? Was it a knock-on? Wilson. The referee said it was lost forward by New Zealand. Well, Mertens has had 11 possessions. He's kicked six times. That's Ian Jones again, now Marshall, the All Blacks grouped in midfield, nice decoy, McLeod straight through, the pass looked suspicious, here's Little and Kronfeld, five metres out, Australia hold on here, referees playing advantage, McLeod got through, there's the inside pass to Kronfeld, and the referee's going to pull it back for the infringement by Australia. Andrew Mertens, 387 test points, 92 of those against Australia. First points in the test match to the All Blacks. Get them all behind you then, get them all behind you. Australia go deep. Taken away by Jones. Excellent play from him. 37 metres out. They go wide again. They're going to try and stretch Australia. They do. Mertens. It opens up now for Wilson. Wilson, look at him go. He's Joe Roth. Again, sensational attack from the All Blacks as they spread it wide and found Australia wanting. New Zealand win the line-out ball, they drive ahead. So close here, there's Anton Oliver. Josh Cronfeld, they're over. It's a try. They've splintered the Australian forward pack. Mighty forward effort there by the All Blacks. Watch him go up. Jones provided the decoy, goes to Robin Brook. Anton Oliver gets in there, raises a... Um, a good opportunity here for Cronfeld. Cronfeld just legs pumping, gets through, and Clayton Thomas gets around to see the try. David Wilson goes in. Larkham. Well, that one's easily coming down near the 22. Joelle Vendiri got it back to Little. Good skills from Horan. He's going to have a sprint here. He ran hard. Centre field. 35 metres out from the all-black goal line. Here we are, the ball off the tackle. Playing the ball off their feet, they've been penalised another 10 metres. That helps the cause for Matthew Burke. It's a very handy 10 metres. So Matthew Burke hit the post with his first kick. This will close the gap to five. No mistake. And Australia finally on the scoreboard. That's a reward for their 
early pressure in the opening quarter. So Andrew Mertens, the outstanding player in Super 12. Burt comes in and owns it. Here's Kepu. Wallaby set it up on the 22. Here's Larkham. Hasn't got the touch. Randall. They want to go out to the center of the field. This is Cullen. It wasn't a good pass. Mertens cleans up well. Matthew Burke. Doesn't want it to go out on the full. This is Mertens inside his quarter. Looking to link up with Randall. Again, first bounce job. Here's Joelli. He steps. Upended by Tune. And that is how to tackle your opponents. The crowd love that. Well, Nathan ben, Gray, Chris Whittaker on the bench for Australia. Ben Tune initially beaten one on one, but good cover behind him. Heard of Vindiri back into his tackle. Made sure that Vindiri couldn't go outside him. When he was pushed out, he picked him up and drove him into the deck. Followed on and buried Mertens. This is good stuff, right in front of the Wallaby bench. Great jump by Eels. Crowley's there and Kearns again. Wallaby set up. Inside New Zealand's half. Here's Larkham. Again, static ball. Burke attacks. Roth. Good support. Great work from Tune, who came across. Wallaby's looking dangerous here. Here's Roth again. Getting involved. Australia drive over. 15 metres out. Larkham now. He hesitated. Australia still protect the ball. Again, it's slowed down. It's Kearns in place. Well read by Craig Dow. Get off it! Daniel Herbert, a battering ram. Now they're making metres. Here's a chance! Matthew Burke! Straight through the middle! The Wallabies draw level. Well, keep if you keep on pounding away at the brick wall, eventually something's going to give. And this time, through consistent ball handling from the Wallabies, we see Matthew Burke get through here. Tommy Bowman provided a bit of guidance there, although Brown unable to get to him. They get out very quickly to midfield. Here's Joelli. Almost picked up. The Australians have got it. And then lost again through a knock-on. So New Zealand now. Can they hit back? This is McLeod. Lovely loop to Little. Cullen. Nowhere to go. Horan got him. So did Roth. Kronfeld is there. Josh Kronfeld. Wrestled to ground. And the strength there of Big Joe Roth. Assisted by John Eels. That's the defining moment when you drive back an opponent with the ball in the tackle and you get the put into the scrum. That's the telling part of it. These turnovers are hard to come by. Lovely solid scrum. Bowman and Eels providing the, the real grunt from behind. Andrew Blades immovable here at tight head. Dowd with his hand on the ground again. Just not looking very comfortable that time on the engagement. Australia scrum again looking very solid Kefu charges ahead Gregan now there's the battering ram Joe Roth Gregan does well Kearns up to the 22 Marshall tries to stop it he's like him Herbert And the Aussie bench is ecstatic, as is the home crowd. Daniel Herbert busted, and Matthew Burke on the spot again. Great skills all around here from the Wallabies.
George Gregan putting his runners through the gaps here. And Daniel Herbert, what a season he's having. Scott McLeod looked pedestrian there. And Matthew Burke, the juggling act. What a beautiful try. Here's Brooke. Now Mertens again. McLeod steaming ahead. Just caught there by Stephen Larkham. Three on three. Wilson's out there. Rock comes again. Chance for New Zealand here. There's a few forwards out in midfield. Kronfeld. Big hit by Cobain. That was a monster. Can New Zealand get it back? They're still 15 from halfway. It's been slowed up by the Wallabies. They're looking for Cullen. Here's Mertens. He wants Wilson. Gregan in front. He's just caught. And there's the try to Jones. Ian Jones gets his ninth test try. And how many times have we seen it from this great All Black team in the closing minutes before half time? What a great break from the horse whisperer, this quiet assassin as he just glides through the gap. Trying to stop Wilson man on man is a difficult one. Gregan knew that he had more pace than he did and had tried to go wide, but Jones not just in the side for his jumping. Here's Randall, charging up to Wilson. Now New Zealand, working up towards halfway. Spencer looked to go to the left. Craig Dowd. Hands up! Julio's in there. That's Marker. Marshall. Good defence from Eels. Stand up! Hands up! Hands up! Stand back for New Zealand again. Chance on the open side here. Cullen just caught Little. Brilliant pass to Lomu. Here they go, Marker to Jonah. Oh, Marshall. Can he get it back to an Australian? He does. Horan. Still in play. And a relieving kick by Hall, by Tim Horan. But what about that support from the All Blacks? Sensational play. Coming in depth. Over the gun. Here go New Zealand again. McLeod almost slicing through. Cronfeld's there to pick up the loose up, ball. Up, up. He's driven back in the tackle. Wilson goes in for it. Get off in yellow, get off in yellow. Coming back for New Zealand. There's no one out on the left here for the All Blacks. There is Walter Little, Joe Roth, and Burke. Wilson in front. No fullback here. Cullen Herring back. Burke has put it deep again. Kearns is coming through. Burke! Do it all yourself. And he wants to throw it in and does. Here we go for Cobain. New Zealand surprised by the quick line out. Wallaby so close here. They come through to spoil. Brooks all over him. Herbert still going. The line just meters ahead. The referee's playing advantage for the penalty. Turns now and Horan. Horan's there. Marker holds on. The Wallaby so close. So we're going to have a penalty here in front of the posts. A long advantage play. Just to put it back out to eight in favour of the Wallabies. Matthew Burke, 24. New Zealand, 16. Here we go now, Wilson. New Zealand in all sorts of trouble again. Gregan! New Zealand come away through Little. Deliberate knock, Deliberate knock on, away. says the referee. Clive Norley would have given a penalty try for that one back in the old days. Well, that is surely the end of the road for New Zealand. Matthew Burke misses. It doesn't matter. It's
it's an eight-point victory to the Vodafone Wallabies. They have done it in style. They answered every New Zealand challenge in the second half. Matthew Burke with a scintillating man of the match performance. Two tries, one conversion and four penalty goals. I think uh, all in all it was, uh, it was the rest of the team that really made it easy for, uh, for, for myself anyhow. Um, in saying that, it, w it wasn't an easy game. I mean, the forwards really laid the, the, the platform for a, for a great win. I thought uh, our inside three played really well. Ben and uh, Joe got involved. So overall, it was a great performance. Three weeks after Australia's victory in Melbourne, the two teams met again for the return in Christchurch. The All Blacks were coming off a rare home defeat the week before against the Springboks, and so the Wallabies were expecting a backlash. The odds were stacked against them, as Australia hadn't won at Lancaster Park since 1958. So, it was unlikely John Eels had rehearsed too much of a victory speech as he led out his team onto the pitch. Despite the All Blacks' poor start to the campaign, coach John Hart refused to panic, making only two changes from the week before. Replacing Carlos Spencer was Andrew Mertens, and Mark Carter was in for Josh Kronfeld. The Wallabies had also been defeated by the Springboks, but McQueen saw fit to make only one change. Richard Harry came in for Dan Crowley in the front row. So Australia kicking into this breeze grant, so the ball will sit up nice and high. We'll also give the Wallabies a chance to get underneath it. This is an ideal opportunity for them. Matthew Burke gets the Bledisloe Cup test underway. Ball holding up in the breeze, and it's been grabbed by Bowman immediately. Inside the 22 go the Wallabies. Gregan off to Larkin, running the angles, spilled forward by Herbert, and the All Blacks bring it out with the Marshall kick. Referee still playing an advantage, and the All Blacks will go back for the scrum, but a worrying start to the game with Bowman bursting over the 22. Mertens goes the long way. Larkin was waiting back. Good powerful run here by Steve Larkin. Makes it to halfway. Did it go sideways? I think it might have. Cobain in support. It's all a bit untidy, and here's the penalty. It's against the All Blacks, they're offside. not to kick the goal. Let's go sideline to Buck Anderson. There's still a swirling breeze down here. I think that may have upset Steve Larkin's kick there. He was certainly looking to put it out inside the 22, but it didn't happen. The game's still just trying to get a bit of shape about it. A few knock-ons and charge downs aren't helping the cause. Nearly six minutes gone. Once again, he goes to Old Faithful. John Eels, here's Dan Crowley in the side ahead of Richard Harry. Just near the 22, Togtai Kefu. Powerful defence there from Tane Randall. Now Gregan. Jason Little. Here's support from Bowman again. Big time Bowman. And he comes up with his first test try. What a magnificent effort for a lock. Beat Jonah Lomu's tackle, hands down. He's a huge man, equally as big as John Eels, Tom Bowman. Kefu ready to pick it up. After Herbert getting it close. Kefu's in good support. Chased by Michael Jones, who gets him finally. Ten out from the 22, they're on a roll here. Larkin, Horan's had a beautiful tackle. May Hoffler barreled him. Huge defence, but they've got it again. Larkin. 
takes it back in. Getting all the ball to play with. Regan this time. Horan puts the foot down. Away to Kearns. Retaining possession well. Popped out again for Kef who made the initial burst. 18 metres out from the all-black line. David Wilson, number seven. Gregan, Larkin. Herbert, back to Roth. All Blacks swarm all over Joe Roth, but they're in centre field now. Gregan back for Tim Horan. Picks his way through two or three All Black defenders. Gregan again. Anton Oliver just caught him out of the corner of his eye. Went to throw the pass to Oliver. Now Cullen. They're going to move it away. Here they come. May offer. Wilson in space. Does Horan beautifully. Now Cullen. Chased by Gregan. He's got Wilson inside. Wilson is David Wilson at his back. The ball lost forward. And what a thrilling movement from the All Blacks. Good pressure put on Gregan by Brook. Let him slip away, though. That's the halfway line. As Horan goes in to play halfback. All Blacks moving up very quickly in defence. Here's Jason Little getting in close. Five metres on the All Black side of halfway. Regan to Larkham. Thought about the kick. Hands it off to Herbert. Andrew Blades. Now they get the ball going forward. Little. Support from Kefu. Gregan dragged down on a good tackle. It was a necessary one too by Marshall. They're only 20 metres out now, the Wallabies. Gregan looks left and right. Goes left. Larkham. All Blacks reckon that should be a scrum. Ran into his own man. Gregan to Horan. Not many people get past Christian Cullen. But it pops back again. Herbert. No way again. Long sequence of play here. The Wallabies have held on to position well. Larkham. Again runs into somebody. This time it's not a problem though. As Dan Crowley was way out of the road. Gregan again. Herbert. All Blacks just can't get the ball back. Gregan. Carter goes after him, makes a very good tackle. They're not buying the Gregan dummies today. All the little in passes. Back to Kefu. Carried on by Crowley. Now they get some momentum. Gregan to Larkham. Back to Larkham. Wilson then after him. Five metres out from the line. This is relentless from the Wallabies. They'll be very disappointed if they can't make something out of this. Back goes hard. All Blacks having to tackle their socks off here. Gregan once again. Craig Dowd's timing was pretty good. Goal line is there once more. Gregan digs it out. Larkin looks inside. And the try comes up from Matthew Burke. He got two in Melbourne. Another one in Christchurch. Relentless effort from the Australian team. Attack, 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 retain possession, recycle possession. All backs doing well to withhold. <laughs> Phil Kearns. Nicely hooked down again by the Wallabies. 
Their ball retention has been quite outstanding in this game. As we saw just before half-time, Kearns went straight through the middle. Bowman's out wide. Bowman and Lamu. Jonah comes up with a tackle. But they got through the All Black pack pretty easily. Only well, showing a certain amount of speed too, Tom Bowman. We saw it before and we all thought maybe that was accidental, but I don't think it was accidental. He's an athlete, this man. Look at the Wallabies. They're doing to the All Blacks what they did in the first half. They're lining them all out behind them. Behind their, their forward pack. Warren's gone in close. Gregan releases up to Larkin. They've opened him up here. Little on the charge. Little's under the bar. Open the All Blacks up easily. Very clever and very shrewd. Little going in. Confusing, obviously, seemingly confusing the All Black backline defence. And then they spun it wide. They simply moved it wide. And Little, of course, very strong off his left foot. Larkham again off the side of the boot, but safely out. Well, he's come a long way this season, Stephen Larkham. Pushed into the number 10 jersey. Well, that's one of the stories of success, isn't it, when you rechange or change a man's position. Here they come again, the All Blacks. Mayer off for having a go in midfield, but it's so cramped up in midfield there, there's just no way through. And they've turned it over again, away comes Gregan. Racing back after this one is Mertens. Oliver and Gregan trip over each other. And the mistake made again by the Blacks. Gregan quickly to Horan. To Little. Jason Little has Andrew Blades in support. Now it's Tim Horan. Gregan delivers again for Joe Roth. Just 10 metres out. Good ball for Australia if it's quick. It is Three quick. Two. Little! Larkham! Stephen Larkham! And that'll be the Bledisloe Cup to Australia. Mertens up to Scott Robertson right in centre field Olo Brown trying to get something going here Marshall pop pass inside Robertson to half the two new boys combining now Little in his 50th test up to Mayo back the other way he goes Mertens, Cullen gets up and Cullen's in. Finally, the try is scored by the All Blacks. Brock takes it up towards the 22. Marshall back inside to Robertson, who's really given some impact since he arrived. Marshall fends one off. Now Lamu. It's coming a bit late from the All Blacks, but it's good to watch anyway. Now Marshall. Here's Robertson again. Mayer Hopper's in there. And it's another penalty. One thing it is doing is going to be giving the All Blacks some confidence, but they should have been playing like this right from the kickoff. Marshall takes it quickly. Handed off to Robertson by Randall. It's there, or it should be. There it is. Marshall. Lamu! The back bloke gets over.
In 2000, the newly crowned world champions Australia travelled to Wellington's new Westpac Stadium for the first time, still smarting from going down to Jonah Lomu's last gasp try in Sydney three weeks earlier. That defeat meant that to retain the Bledisloe Cup as well as maintain any hope of a first Tri-Nations title, the Wallabies would have to win here. New Zealand were now coached by Wayne Smith and he gave the captaincy to his former skipper at Canterbury, Todd Blackadder, who'd replaced the retired Robin Brook. The Wallaby team included 10 World Cup winners from the previous November, but in the centres was Sterling Mortlock, who had already contributed 41 points to this campaign. First international match at the new stadium in Wellington is underway and Andrew Mertens gets an early touch for Eremia. The strong take it up man and immediately the Wallabies dive over the top. Marshall to go quickly. Case Mews. Marshall hands it off. Mertens saw the gap. Dragged down by David Giffen and number four. All Blacks keeping it in hand, Black Adder feeds it to Marshall, taking on the Australian defence early in the match as they did in Sydney. They've reached the 10 metre line, heaved out by Lomu, Mertens puts his boot to it. Latham's got a lot of ground to make. Umanga closing the angle right down. Mertens again, wide to Randall. Solid defence by the Wallabies, and it's a post-tackle quickly in, so the first stoppage comes with a scrum, and a minute for the first sequence of play. Well, it's been an emphatic start by New Zealand, confident also, very, very comfortable with the ball in hand, setting up the ruck, controlling possession, clever kick from Mertens, and well answered, of course, by Latham. Straight one-on-one, -on -one as Umanga goes past Roth, Picked up though by the loose forward defence. Mertens working wide for Alatini. Larkham has to make the tackle in midfield. The All Blacks have had all the ball so far. Marshall probing in close. And here is the first turnover as it's knocked forwards. And it'll be Wallaby's ball right on halfway. So this will be interesting to see what the Australians do from the first scrum. Will they work the short side? Interesting, isn't it? Equal weight per pack. The loose forwards are identical at 110 kgs apiece. Regan for Larkham. Herbert! Clean break. Feeds it up. And Mortlock is chased by Umanga. He'll make it though. Daniel Herbert opened them up wide. Sterling Mortlock scores. What a blistering and acceptable try by Australia. Fantastic to make the break so early. So early. This will be a great view, Glenn. Yes, it's the inside D. Defence of the All Blacks was found wanting again. Mertens drifted wide, but uh, Kronfeld and Marshall need to get across a little bit quicker. Michael Foley. David Giffen easily, Foley takes the return ball. Gregan across now to Jason Little. Playing in his last test match today against the All Blacks. Larkham feeds it up to Latham. Room for Mortlock, might have been hit late. Let's wait and see, it's still live. Now if this bounces back, Latham, oh dear. Well, he's always been an expressive player, Latham. The dive was... In vain for sure. Giffen again. Gregan for Mortlock. The try scorer so far in the game. Taken in by David Wilson. Jim Williams, who was such a dominant figure in the Sydney Test. Slinging it wide again. The danger man here, but easily passed Hoft. Here's Mortlock again. Marshall manages to get in the road this time. Well, it's intensity plus, isn't it? Australia seeming to find a man in space with relative ease. 
Such a confident, clever side. And that's more like well tackled, I thought, by Callum here. Must come down first. And of course the support was equaled by the New Zealanders. John Eels, what a wonderful lock forward and winner of possession he's been for Australia. Williams is the target. Kefu number 19 driving off him. 6 or 7 metres okay. short as Gregan feeds it off. Breaks down this time and Maxwell has regained possession. All Blacks had an overlap but uh, Merton's opted to kick. And skillful play by Latham if he can keep this own nor dare now the call. So it'll be back to the scrum perhaps. Option. Kicking the ball dead of course Point from option. field of play. Point option. Option. Scrum off. Very interesting first 14 minutes. The All Blacks have had a lot of ball, but very little of it inside the Australian 22. Marshall, now the kick does come from Mertens. Didn't strike it that well. It'll sit up eventually for Joe Roth. Met head on by Umanga. And big powerful defence. Well, that's exactly what New Zealand wanted. Mertens not trying to kick it in a touch, trying to keep it in play with the ability to either set up a ruck in this position here drive the man into touch perhaps which is what happened and now New Zealand throw a chance to relieve perhaps from inside their territory ball must come in alright leave him, leave him two, leave him line outs were a problem in Sydney for the All Blacks and uh, Another one snaffled by the Wallabies in the form of John Eels. Here's Herbert. Oh, smashing straight into Mertens, who goes reeling back. Get on! Five out from the 22. Right and centre field for Gregan. Larkham on for Jason Little. Eels is right there with him. Now it's a Larkham again. Kefu. Trip off into, to uh, Latham who's up in the line, they keep it going, Larkham, Joe Roth for the corner, they've got another one, the wingers have got them both. And here it is again, it's Larkham goes in, and it was Roth who changed the angle, beat the tackle. John Eels, it all started when he stole the New Zealand line out. There for the All Blacks. It's been knocked on by the Wallabies. So now they have some sort of field position. The All Blacks tipped on for Lamu. There for the captain. Top Black at it. set it again. Mertens for Alatini. Umanga! 22 metre line with some forward momentum now, the All Blacks. Looking blindside with Alatini. Lomu again. 15 best metres chance, out. Best chance the All Blacks have had so far. Umanga goes again. Referee playing an advantage. Mertens. For Crib. The kick for Callum. Brilliant. Well, the, the crowd say it all. There's so much noise here. I can't hear my own voice. Well, that is music to my ears to see a number eight with those sort of skills. Ron Cribb. Well, Tana Umanga making the initial break. He's a handful. This man couldn't get the pass away, but they retained possession well. A great sequence of play. Here's the last little department. Have a look at Cribb. Toe to through. End on end. You beauty. And Christian Callum. He just keeps on dotting them down. Anton Oliver finds Tane Randall. Beautiful ball to the back of the line giving some space. Here they are, some intricate moves. Aaron Alista, Umanga. Oh, classic. That equals the record. That's absolutely brilliant again. Well, set the world alight, why don't you? They're certainly doing that. 
at the Westpac Trust Stadium here in Wellington. Who would have believed we could have had a game to rival Homebush? And we certainly have. We've seen some glorious tries to date in this game. Well, here it is here. What a work. What a move. So many different directions and angles. And Umanga, of course, with a flat-footed opponent to beat. Through the last man, absolutely beautiful. And through to Christian Cullen. Going short for Oliver to bring it out. Three kicks, one in five. Didn't go five. In your own time. Quickly taken by Jeremy Paul. He's got a good turn of pace. Chased down by Blackadder, but he beats him. Umanga, that was a run of 30 metres by Jeremy Paul. So Gregan frees it up for Larkham. Straight across to Jason Little. Such a crucial stage in this game. The next team that scores takes an advantage. Here is Jeremy Paul again. John Eels on the end of the pass. Now Gregan to Larkham. Not such a flash pass, but David Wilson has it on the 22. David Giffen sets it once more. All Blacks, their turn to defend. Nugs through, Latham coming quickly. Larkham short, Alatini. Wasn't able to control it, so Sterling Mortlock has it for Todai Kefu. Wallaby's hitting back almost immediately with Eels into the gap. They're only 15 metres out here. It bounces for Gregan. A little. Kefu once more. Gregan playing advantage. All Blacks offside. Mark Connors. It's now George Gregan. The advantage still applies. And he'll go back. And this is a penalty right in front. So, Sterling Mortlock. Yes. Wayne Smith, he's come all the way down. One minute to go. Don't have a heart attack, Wayne. What a moment this is. Big throw for Mark Hammett. Oh, they've turned it. Wallabies have it through Mark Connors. So here's a chance. It's their last one. Larkin. And he puts it out. Jonathan Kaplan has a look at the watch. Still time remaining. <laughs> You've got to laugh. Even Jonathan Kaplan has a smile on his face. Everybody's screaming with a full-time whistle, except the referee, and he is the sole judge of time. The biggest line-out throw of the series. Josh Kronfeld's on his feet. He's on the sideline. Let's make sure the ball goes in, OK? Ball in first. The heat is on. They go short. Again, it's with the Wallabies. Perbert. Got to be careful here about the penalty. Jim Williams takes it in. Now, Joe Ruff tries to go past Cullen. Oh, there, there's the penalty. There's the penalty. Yes. I think he was relieved to say that, John. He was whatever shot, thank you. Well, that was interesting because the ball was actually swapped forward by the Australian player and looked like it was going to be a turnover. And I just wonder what the referee's decision was on the penalty. However, it's history now. How about this for stepping up to the mark? John Eels is going to take the kick himself. Well, he has to because Sterling Mortlock's off the field and I guess he's the only other goal kicker, recognised goal kicker. Joe Roth, perhaps, on occasions. Well, here it is. The last two lineouts for New Zealand throws were won by Australia.
This kick will decide the fate of the Blenners Loka. What a player, John Eels. His kick has retained the Blenners Loka. Look at the excitement. Well, they're a great team, and it's been a great victory. Gentlemen, here is the presentation of the Bledisloe Cup for the year 2000. The man holding the lift aloft is John Eels. The 2001 Tri-Nations campaign came down to the final game and fittingly it was between the Wallabies and the All Blacks in front of 90,000 in Sydney. But this fixture had an intriguing subplot with the legendary John Eels announcing that this would be his final game in a Wallaby jersey. Eels had achieved everything in the game but he was determined to bow out with one final Kiwi scalp to his collection. Rod McQueen had bailed out as Wallaby coach after the Lions series in that year, and so Eddie Jones inherited a team with a winning mentality, with experience all over the pitch. There was a much more youthful look to the All Blacks, however, with the likes of Doug Howlett, Chris Jack and Leon McDonald, all 23 and under. Here we go. Chris Handy, you've been waiting patiently down there on the touchline, the ball coming down right in front of you. And the first taken, the captain, John Eels, I've never seen him as emotional. And the Wallabies get on with the job at hand. David Giffen sets it up now, Larkin, this is a brilliant start by the Aussies. Here's Joe Roth. It's only 15 metres out from the goal line. Leon McDonald came in, the All Blacks may have forced a turnover. So they got to that breakdown very quickly with numbers and Kelleher. Back now with Chris Latham, who's playing on the right wing, but normally a fullback with the Reds. Got away from Maxwell. And Australia just inside New Zealand's half. Larkham. And it's a good tester for McDonald. Here comes Roth. But Mertens was there first. So he'll get a mark because he took the ball inside the 22. And they play on quickly for Howlett. He's wrapped up by Tolai Kefu. 35 metres out. Troy Flavel, offside Australia, referee paying advantage. Playing advantage, flat, penalty. Giffen the tackler on Somerville. And there's Ron Cribb, pick and drive, up towards halfway. The ball. It's turned over, the referee will take Play it back advantage. for the penalty. penalty offside. Thirty-eight metres out is Mertens on target tonight. It hit the upright and scraped in. So scores a level in the seventh minute. The biggest concern for Wayne Smith at this point of the game would be the line-out. The All Blacks performed exceptionally well in the second half last week against the Springboks. First half did have some problems. Man Mountain. Chris Jack says he styled his game on that of Buck Shelford. Buck's back. The All Blacks are back. Brute Force is back at Stadium Australia. And it's a little kick. Well taken by Flavel. He'll have a knee operation after this test match. Mertens now. Roth was waiting for it. And New Zealand giving possession back to Australia. And it looks as though Foley's been hit behind the play. Chris Jack's the man. Norm Maxwell being called out. Both sides. This guy was me. Just hold the clock. Just take your side back. Take your side back. So referee Tarpa Henning is looking for some direction from the touch judges, and Ian Ramage from Scotland is coming in. Foley's here in number two at the back on the side. There, Maxwell in number four yeah, jersey. They just ran in front of him. He had a uh, push out at him. That's about all that I saw. Well, there's nothing much in this at all. Should we just been nope. playing on? No. Nope. If well, there was much in it. There was a punch by Foley because uh, Maxwell was holding on to him. 
you know it to that. And Farley gives him a Good short chart. You were upset about something that happened back there. We were happy to carry on. You did tell you that well, the touch judges have missed the punch. This is going to cost you 10 minutes in the single. So, Maxwell was deliberately holding on to Foley. He's off to the sin bin. He had no rights to hold on to Foley. He was in an offside position. Foley punched him. Maxwell's off. Foley stays on. Matthew Burke then. Can he put Australia in the lead? He sure can. Two penalty goals to Matthew Burke. Now the leading point scorer in test matches against the All Blacks. So he's off for another four and a half minutes, Norm Maxwell. So not too much damage for New Zealand. And Michael Foley now with the line-out throw on halfway. David Giffen at the back. Regan did well to get his pass away. Here comes Burke and Roth. Just peppering that one up the touchline. Leon McDonald plucked it. And here's Burke again. Larkham joins in. Foley's there. Latham out wide. Space. He's away from Jack Lobu in front. Kelleher, another great tackle. 15 metres out. New Zealand have slowed it down. Now Larkham. Finnegan coming in on the angle. McDonald up in the defensive line from fullback. Little flare up going on. Flavel's involved. Here's Kefu. Regan goes in. Australia need protection at the breakdown. The referee says it's out. Here's Giffen. Anton Oliver. Giffen offloaded. 15 metres out from the goal line. Finnegan has a crack. And now Larkin. Larkin goes to the boot. The referee plays advantage and Latham is there. Second 40 underway. Can the Wallabies hold on and give their skipper John Eels a dream send-off? 19-6 to Australia at the break. Here's Larkham. Kelleher coming through. But a short touch finder by Larkham. Trip now, thinking of a quick throw, but deciding against it. And you'll see the All Blacks play a more expansive game in the second half. A lot of territory to make up in the uh, scoreboard as John Eels gets it. It's a take, but it's gone forward. Now that was that was amazing. There, Eels won the line out. He stopped, and then the referee, I think correctly, has ruled a forward pass to David Giffen. I don't think he could realise he went straight through. Eels could not believe this. It was he, too easy. He jumps, comes down, finds himself in space, and says, "What's going on?" And that last pass was ruled forward. So another line out lost by the All Blacks. Aggressive scrummaging from New Zealand. 45 metres out. Here's Mertens. Alatini into space. Steps beautifully. Umang is with him. And this is Howland. Oh, what a try. Zealand really playing with a cavalier approach. Caution to the wind as Maxwell goes high. Stay back, it's going to be a penalty to Black. Hold the ball out. So discipline ball. is really letting Australia down here, and this could be a sin bin. And it could be a major I'm turning sorry, point in the game. I'm getting out of the way. I cannot allow you to punch a player who you feel is obstructing you. That's going to cost you 10 minutes. The Wallabies are man down. They're missing their front rower, Rod Moore. Foley controls at the back. Now Gregan comes in. 
and Larkham and Herbert almost getting through the tackle of Mertens Australian forwards clean out Kefu Joe Roth wrapped up just short of halfway Kefu again Carl Hoff the tackler Australia protecting possession Larkham in ball Latham was not watching the ball he was watching the defence New Zealand could sting here this is Flavell Roth comes in for the tackle Byron Kelleher now McDonald, Alatini, Lomu's outside in the lead and it was Jonah with another demolition job down that left side Walker's on the right here's Larkham Nathan Gray beat the first line it's inside the quarter Owen Finnegan smashes into Alatini Gregan now Walker's out wide there's a chance here he is a lovely offload to Latham the ruling no advantage to Australia they get the penalty so Andrew Walker has a goal kick from in front here he scored uh, eight points in test match football and he won't get an easier opportunity than this one and it will close the margin to just four points Fate complete for Andrew Walker. Well, I think everyone said it was going to go down to the wire. It's certainly shaping that way. But the All Blacks must win this line out. They go to the front. Eel's got it. It's back for Cobain. Australia have it. They have a last-ditch opportunity. Here's Herbert out wide and Walker. An offside play again. Hill back in the line out, says the referee. Another penalty. Probably another line out. And another chance for the Wallabies to snatch victory. Oh, God, this crowd down here, they must have the biggest knot in their guts, the same as me. And I'm sure everyone watching, be you Kiwi or Aussie, they have the same feel, this great test match. Two teams desperately wanting victory. Tri-Nations trophy doesn't matter. Winning, beating the opposition is all that matters. So can the maturity and the renowned composure of this Australian team defy the All Blacks. Under the flag, you way over every time. This is the last time I'm going to call you back. So at seven metres out, Australia needs to try to win the game. Cobain takes the line out. Australia try to drive ahead. Gregan again. And Larkham. Kefu. good enough to win Thai Nations. Australia has it by three. Churlish decision uh, to pack the scrum at this stage, but nonetheless adding to the moment. This is so important for both the Wallabies and the All Blacks. They've only got to put it into touch. And they do. Thai Nations 2001 is plated in gold by John Eels Wallabies. with their last guest try by Tode Kefu. Final score, Wallabies 29, New Zealand 26.
no doubt that uh, that I'll miss uh, playing for the Wallabies. It's been a very big part of my life. I think outside of family and friends, it's been the biggest part of my life. And uh, on behalf of uh, myself, I'd like to thank everyone here, representing all in Australia that have supported the Wallabies over the years. So thank you very much for your support. By 2002, Australia had held the Bledisloe Cup since 1998 and were chasing a third successive Tri-Nations title. After losing in Christchurch three weeks earlier, the Wallabies were in danger of losing both those trophies to the All Blacks. Gone was John Eales, and so leading out the Australians was George Gregan. Apart from Eels, Eddie Jones could still call on the nucleus of the team that had won everything the year before. On the bench as an impact replacement was rugby league convert Matt Rogers. The All Blacks team was now led by Reuben Thorne and in his breakthrough season in the back row was 21-year-old Richie McCaw. Slow 2000, match two. Safely taken by Chris Jack, number four, inside his quarter. So much expectation with this game. There's Jack again. Reuben Thorne sets it up. The driving wall's been very effective. Australia can, committing a few more numbers here. And they've driven it sideways, which is the way to counteract it. Have they stolen it? No. Mertens, Umanga, Mertens on the loop. His trouble. Ruth. Cullen into touch. Tremendous cover there from the Aussie backs. Now the all-important line-out. Must be good. Kefu again at the front. Surprise tactic from Australia. Here's Herbert. Wrapped up in midfield by Mertens initially. No Hugh. hands now, Black. Now lending some support. Finnegan. They're trying okay. to ram it in on the fringe of the ruck. Larkham. Found the break. Two missed tackles by New Zealand. This is Sharp, the big fellow. 15 metres out. Kefu. Mortlock. Kefu again. Seven metres to go for the Wallabies here. Larkham, there's a good line, Paul. Marshall came up for the tackle. They're still going left in a loose pass. He's Ben Tune. He beat two weak tackles, a third. Australia can go again here. Larkham, Sharp is with him. The big throw. First test tie. He almost got one last week against the Springboks. He put his foot into touch, but this one close to the sticks. Ah, super try from the men in goal. Australian defence has been outstanding. And it's been pinched. But Chris Jack is there for the crumbs. Oh, Chris Jack's having a big game for the Blacks. No one at half back there for Australia. Very loose pass from Marshall. Tune needs to take this on the fall. Here's Latham. Play on. Great one-handed pass from Latham. Play on. No knock on from Herbert. Here's Nathan Sharp. Having a pick, Nick Smith. Inside the quarter. He's won it on his feet. Sterling Mortlock there for Larkham. Here it is for Herbert. Almost number two to the Wallabies. Again, desperation from Cullen. The tackler on the ground interfered with the ball as Herbert was about to play it. He was off his feet. They're lucky the ball blacks not to be penalised. Check the five, Mark. Check that five. Sir. No, 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 no. No, no, this. No, they don't do it. Taken by Sharp. Australia so close to their second try here. They've controlled it for Gregan and oh! Interference against Noriega. Or was it a... 
cost Australia a try. He's holding the guys off the ball. They need to defend that line. That's why how you scored the try. Third time I'm penalising him. If I see him again, he's in trouble. Tell him. Kepp is standing out. Harrison did well. He's more blocked. Hungry to get into a bit of space. Paul on the charge, well read by the defence. Hands off now, Black. Wallabies Go need ahead. to retain possession here and build some momentum. Well, they need to regain it here. Herbert. Cullen couldn't pick it up. Ball went backwards. No advantage. Hands. Marshall plays on. That's Somerville. Outside the drive. quarter. Robertson. Beat a weak tackle there. Brown. Promising work here by the New Zealand drive, forwards drive. as Somerville goes to ground. Major. This is Cullen out wide. And Chris Latham. Well, a lovely result for Christian Cullen. From one end of the field to the other, Marshall's play on, which looked like it might be a bit uh, a bit rash initially, produces a wonderful kick downfield, and Latham, thinking he was going to pick it up, allows it to roll into touch. Wallaby's put in, but they're under pressure. Yeah. Wallaby's going for the three-man line out. Harrison. And McCaw scores! It was a throw over the back that missed the man, and New Zealand in front for the first time. Well, this is the sucker play. You just got to make sure that Richie McClure was onside initially. So Rogers just had to hold on to that ball, and he was over. Now Mortlock. Mortlock! Halfway line. Hands off! <laughs> He's Gregan. David Lyons charging into McCaw. The Wallabies have gone up a gear here. Jeremy Paul. Now they clean it out. Fourth phase for the Australians. And this defence is holding firm. With me. Gregan to Herbert. Only Mortlock out here, but Herbert makes seven or eight metres. Jeremy Paul with a pick and drive. Now Bill Young. Gregan again to Larkham. June. Uh, slipped. Slipped. Slipping over. Get last feet, last feet. Matt Cobain, they're going one out, the Australians in danger of a turnover here. Great defence from the All Blacks. They're meeting each man as he hits the line. He's Burke, trying to step his way through. Larkin in run. for the clean out. Now there's a chance for the Wallabies here. Lyons, great pass there. Sterling Mortlock inside the corner. Paul, Herbert's outside. 15 metres to go. Gregan and Larkham. He stepped through two tackles, three. Larkham still going. Australia's chance. Last feet black. Five metres from the goal line. Jeremy Paul. New Zealand Lions. looking to turn Lions. it over. Last feet. Which way will Gregan go? That's Herbert. Breathtaking stuff here. A metre out. Lions. Lions. Gregan again. They go left. His Rogers. Less than eight to go. Straight as a diver, but it's hit the upright and back into the field of play. No goal. Well, Eddie Jones, great sub putting Rogers on, but it's not over yet. Dave Hewitt has moved from loose head to tight head. OK, let's go. So, just over two minutes remaining. Here's Gregan. They've created space here for Rogers. It was a loose pass. Not back though. Mortlock has cleaned up well. Larkham. David Lyons into Umunga, who's getting involved in the heavy stuff. Larkham again. Herbert trying to step through. Ben Darwin arrives. Matt Cobain to the 10 metre line. There goes the ball on the ground. Australia holding possession. 
Less than two minutes remaining. They're protecting the ball well here. No hands, no hands. Let's go, let's find New Zealand to told to let, let it go. go. They would have given a penalty away there. There's a great pass to Burke from Stephen Larkham. Okay, fellas. Cullen that's comes it, in for the tackle. No New Zealand can't afford to concede a penalty here. Larkham again. Rogers. No hands, no hands. New Zealand's defence holding firm with one and a half to go. That's a rock again. Are we going to see another last second try to break this deadlock? New Not Zealand, importantly, though, has a one-point advantage. Not the way New Zealand's tackling at the moment. They've got to find a hole. Well, we saw New Zealand do this back. at Jade Stadium to hold out Australia. Wallabies just struggling Lucky to make inroads. A minute to go. This is when a team who plays together for a long time. Larkham! This is Rogers. It came off the feet there of Kefu and into touch. Went back okay, onto a, uh, an all-black player and then into touch, so it's Wallaby Goal feet. Ball. Goal ball. They can, can sustain it, but the, the defence of the all-blacks is superb. James, when it goes, you better call me as well. I might... They've aimed up Time out. each occasion, and this only comes from the understanding of picking players that know each other under pressure. Okay. You happy? James, did you get that? When the hooter goes, give me the call anyway. I won't hear it in here. James Apollos, did you get that? So Jeremy Paul. Australia's ball. Larkham now. And last disc chance. Dan Herbert wrapped up. They're That's inside the quarter. The now. drop goal's on here for Australia. Lions, Gregan, Paul. He's had a marvellous game. Still Hands Australia's in. ball, Advantage. 15, there's the penalty, 15 seconds to go, the penalty's on for Australia, so is the drop goal, there's no advantage, here's the penalty, 22. and it's all to the Hands right in. boot of Matthew Burke. We are in injury time, the kick is 15 metres in from touch, this is shades of John Eels, well, devastation at this stage for Reuben Thorne, and the hand was definitely in there. But this all to do, Matt Burke hasn't kicked as well tonight okay. as he would normally have done, but you wouldn't say he wouldn't kick this. He's a great performer for the Wallabies, as Eddie Jones looks on nervously. And Where, again, it's come down to the wire. Where's John Eels? <laughs> This is uh, Shades of Wellington in, here? in 2000. Oh, Eels yeah. kicked the winning penalty. Now Burke, who missed one from a similar spot here to convert Rogers' try, can retain the Bledisloe Cup for his country. He's done it! The hoot is gone! The Bledisloe Cup remains on Australian soil, and Matthew Burke is the hero. Got the rebound. Hold there, push back. Larkham, Australia going wide early as they did in the World Cup semi. 
from inside their quarter. Off sides. Can New Zealand Rangers spoil back. and punish? There's space out here for Howlett. War got in the way. Desperation charge down. And an early penalty against Australia. Shot shooter. Dan Carter successful 3-0. Spencer. Tana Rumunga again. A real handful for the Australians so far. And the Wallabies noticeably have missed a lot of first time tackles in this opening 15 minutes. Doug Hallett goes in. And he's there from the right wing. Mialamu. Lay them underneath here comfortably. Rokotoko ahead. And that ball just bounced back in field. Not what the Australians wanted. Spencer now. Hallett. He got away from two defenders. Mortlock across. Larkham. First there. Spencer's behind him. And again, some weak Australian tackling. Spencer and Larkin, the two number tens, and the photographer's gone down for the count. Ali Williams and Justin Harrison. And this is Sterling Mortlock, I think. Sterling Mortlock hasn't moved in back play. But the scuffle between the two number Time. tens. Larkham and Spencer. Larkham ran across the line. Both had each other there. Who started it? I'm not sure. Okay. He won't finish, I'm not sure. They need a stern word, the pair of Ten. 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 Chris White from England, the touch judge. Larkin tossed the ball away and Spencer wasn't happy with it. So basically what happened there, you've taken the ball out, he wants to take a quick throw in, you've held on to it for a little bit too long, and then we've, we've started that little dust-up. Touch judge is not sure, but he says have a stern word. You guys know where you are. We're going to start, we're going to start with the line-out. Harrison and Jack at the front here. Ball. Sloppy work, New Zealand. Rathbone. Chris Latham somehow held on. Or was it Mortlock out there? No, Rathbone oh. came flying oh, Rathbone. onto that ball. Content, slowing the ball down. Referee playing advantage. Giddo with good hands. Now it's Latham. Taken high. Australia has a crack through Smith. They come left. Nathan Sharp. Regan now. And Takiri. Did he get it on the line? Did he get it down on the line? That's all that's needed. You see the replay. Takiri. You can see the line, just he just can't, the can he get the it ball. there? Touch, touch, and I couldn't see it. If you're not certain, we're going back for yeah, a Yeah, I, I think you're right, Jim, I back him out here. Great work, you see Case Muse underneath. Oh, I don't, I don't think he's actually got it and hit the line. Ball was short, we're going back for the penalty. That's the vantage point for Matthew Burke. 873 points in Test Match Rugby. 
This to make the score 9-3 New Zealand's way. Positive response from this vast crowd of over 82,000. And finally, some pickings for the men in gold. Engage. Keep it elbow up, elbow up. <laughs> yes, there. Points decision there to Australia. Take it from the mark, says the referee, the free kick. Shifting on engagement. George Smith. Now, Steve Hansen, the assistant all-black coach, seven. said George Smith can play anywhere from 1 to 15. He is so talented. Here's to Kerry, lovely pass to Mortlock. Little backflip. Leave it out, Black! And again. Cannon to Rathbone. Almost got away from Rokotoko. I get a number for me, Chris. Another offside from the All Blacks. Mortlock's been in the war yeah. so far. I've had two offsides again here, and my five's going to the bin. Who's five? The other one. You see that the right man? I've got a touch judge report. Number five, black, was the last one that was definitely offsides. I have spoken to you. It's the fifth time now. You're going to go. So you saw the call. Deliberate, repeated infringements from New Zealand. Ali Williams has 10 minutes in the bin. Thank you. Australia has the penalty a minute before the break. So just enough time for Australia to strike a mortal blow here. And clearly, you can see Ali Williams out there, and also Chris Jack were offside. They weren't even watching the back of the ruck. Harrison got it. He's Larkham, and Giddo, and Mortlock, and Takiri. But the All Black defence covered beautifully. Time for a try before half time. New Zealand a man down. Pitched. <laughs> Playing the ball on the ground against Case Muse. Kicking the ball away at the breakdown. No number. Kicking the ball away at the breakdown. His dad, Ron Gitto, was also a handy goal kicker for the West Magpies and the Canberra Raiders in rugby league. And he's here at the ground tonight. Let's see if he's number one son can level the scores in Bledisloe 2 here at Telstra Stadium. Eddie Jones plucked the young man from club football straight into the Wallaby team in 2002. And he's repaid a very rich dividend. It's 12 all at half time in the Bledisloe Cup here in Sydney. <laughs> New Zealand, a man down with Ali Williams off the field in the sin bin for another nine minutes. Backwards, backwards. And it's been pinched by Takiri. Golden opportunity now for the home team. Gregan at first receiver to Larkham. And sharp. He goes straight into John O'Gibbs. He's Kiddo. Latham's looming. Chris Latham, one man in front. Five metres out. New Zealand desperately trying to slow it down. Kiddo and Larkham. Brendan Cannon inside, just to suck in those defenders who were moving to the outside of the field. Larkham again, goes himself, almost. Rush tackling Gitto without the ball. Referee spotted it. Over she goes. Wallabies hit the front for the first time. Got to give a 
appropriate credit to New Zealand. That's great work to be able to keep it at that scoreline while you're down a man at this level of Test Rugby. Bliain is there, and he took it beautifully. Wrapped up by Mortlock. No, no, no. That's no. Marty Holler. Play on. Appeared to be knocked ahead there by Takiri. The referee's happy. So is Lottie. Inside the quarter. Larkham. They're queuing up. This is sharp. Poor pass. Mortlock. Oh, if he'd let it go to Latham. Push it out. It's out. It's out. Marshall came through offside. Still there for Australia. Smith out wide. Overlap, it has to be. David Lyons. He went himself with two men unmarked outside. It's still there to Kerry. New Zealand couldn't number up. But it was almost blown by the Wallabies. Australia went wide. Larkham saw the space. And Smith, lovely pass out in front. David Lyons. Brennan Cannon was looming outside, but Umunga around the bootlaces. It was a recycled ball to Kerry. Nearly dropped it. And the final pass from that man again, George Smith. But George Smith throwing that big ball. Everybody thought that Lyons had butchered it there. Didn't look outside him. Cannon's filthy. He never got the final pass. Had to go in and do the grunt work. And to Kerry, luckily he caught that one, but didn't have to fall far. Inside the last 10 seconds. All Blacks have to score a try. Hold there, hold there. There's the Huda. Umaga. Rokathoko. And now Muliaina. Plenty of gold jerseys to meet him. But remember, we went 16 or 17 phases after the Huda last week in Perth. Australian defence has held up so manfully. Now it's Tui Tupo. Away from Dunning's tackle. Matthew Burke got him. Mertens bypass. Holland nearly dropped it. Crunching tackle there from Vickerman. Mertens again. Umanga. And away goes. Muliaina in from fullback. Oh, last line. Marshall, Mialamo. Marshall again, Run almost away. to the 22. Leave it to This is a classic Bledisloe Cup. They're just probing and probing. Oh. Who's going to crack? Tana Rumunga. Oh, wonderful tackle. Australia puts the pressure on. Can they pinch it? It's still alive oh, for New Zealand. Six. Tuiali'i, he's big and fast. Knock on New Zealand, that's it. Australia has kept the Tri Nations alive. What a victory. No tries conceded. Eddie Jones registers his 25th win with the Wallabies. George Gregan, in his 101st Test match, helps inflict Graham Henry's first loss as All Black coach. 23-18. It really was another titanic struggle between these two great rugby nations.